Before refilling the predator, make sure you put it in the upward position. Unscrew the plug on the back side of the predator unit radiator. We recommend you put the predator on the table edge so the water block is the lowest point of the system. Start the filling process by adding coolant through the port on the back of the unit. Pour the coolant slowly until the unit is full. You can screw the plug back in. And rotate the unit in multiple directions. You might hear the coolant flowing inside the radiator, and at this point, we recommend you repeat this procedure by adding additional coolant. Now you can unscrew the second plug and add some more coolant. It's essential to get as much air as possible out of the system at this stage. Screw the plug back in. After the system is filled with coolant, connect the power cable to the fan splitter hub. Connect the other end to the SATA power supply cable. Plug the EK-ATX bridging plug to your male 24-pin ATX power supply cable. Power on the power supply. Your predator is now running and the air is being bled from the system as the pump is running. Screw the plug back in. You might repeat this process several times with tilting the unit to force the remaining air bubbles out. Make sure you consult the user manual for proper procedure.